a celebration of the arts this weekend on the city's north side. The Glenwood Avenue Arts Fest featured some of the most unique works the Rogers Park neighborhood has to offer. WGN Sean Lewis has that story. Underneath the Morse red line. I played with a lot of Celtic knot designs. We find a world of culture, of community. How are you? And arts. I, I have fun making this stuff. By day, Robert Serb is an English professor, and in his spare time, his creative side finds its way into the pottery studio, creating very interesting bowls, pots, and mugs. Whimsical is what I've been told that they are. They're a lot of faces and such, and over the last two years, you know, I've slapped a few masks on faces and fun things like that. More than 20 years on now, the Glenwood Avenue Arts Fest brings together many aspects of what makes Rogers Park one of the most diverse and integrated neighborhoods in the city. We've always wanted this to be a free festival, so we are still one of the only fe art festivals and neighborhood festivals that are open no gates, no gate fees. These are community members who over years have organized themselves and put in so much free time because they love the community and so this is a huge service, right? Alongside the music and the food, there are handmade clothes, candles, and crafts, including from the imagination of Catherine Blythe, using literature as her muse. When you close the book, Alice is coming down the rabbit hole. You have the tea party, and there's the Mad Hatter's hat. You have her ch the chess game with the Queen of Hearts. I've got the little tiny cookie and bottle saying, drink me and eat me. In all, 125 artists are here. It's all handcrafted. And it's from every single discipline. I mean, including Morgan Schaefer, who shared her art with us. What I really love about the combination of marker and the graphite is the juxtaposition between the really bright colors and the really like dingy colors of the graphite. I really, really love that. A love of art, of community, and a connection. Yeah, right, it's accessible. Lots of different things going on, lots of different kinds of people out. A different way to find beauty on a north side street through art. You can't always afford the original pieces that cost hundreds of dollars. And when you're able to scale down and you're still able to afford, you know, something beautiful in your home, something that brightens your day a little bit, that's always really nice. In Rogers Park, Sean Lewis, WGN News.